Hi, this is Mark Henninger from Sound and Vision, and I'm here at CES 2023 with Stefan Albrecht, who is the Managing Director of Smart Displays at Leica. And we're actually in the Hisense booth with a new ultra short throw projector, the Cine One, and it has a Leica lens in it. And what we want to do is talk about what the importance of having a high quality lens and also just the relevance of this new projector to the UST market. All right, take it away, Stefan. Okay, um, yeah, I'm happy to be here with our newest baby, the Leica Scene One Laser TV. And you might ask why Leica stepped into the TV business, but the case is that we do not step into a standard television business. A laser TV is at the end an ultra short throw projector with an implemented TV tuner. And uh, Leica, Leica's core competence is optical engineering, optical design, and lens manufacturing. And we have realized that the laser TV is a growing market because it incorporates specific advantages above standard projectors and also above televisions in specific segments. And that is specifically the task of this product is to bring the cinematic experience to your living room and a projected image is like being in a cinema today. And the advantage versus a normal projector is that you can project the image from a very short distance and that allows you to implement it very easy into your living room. You don't walk through a projection beam and you have all features implemented. That's why it's got its name from. A laser TV is at the end a projector with an incorporated TV tuner with a smart TV launcher uh, with um, uh, Wi-Fi integrated, LAN integrated, all apps integrated, and so on. And yeah, we are sure, and we see from the growing market numbers that when it especially comes to large screens, that means we would say above 80, 90, or 100 inches, the laser projector is the future of a cinematic experience for your living room. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the advantages of uh, laser projection or, or projection in a living room, which would seem counterintuitive, but I think one of the big ones is that it's bright enough to look like a TV, but it doesn't actually have any of that reflectivity that you get from a TV, where TVs kind of turn into a mirror. Exactly. It's a projected image. The laser, the laser light source allows a very bright image also under daylight conditions, especially when you use it in combination with a so-called daylight screen. And the projected image is not that stressful for your eye on the one hand. The screen is not glossy as you have it on a, uh, on a TV. It's not over sharp and it's not over contrasted. It's really like being in a cinema. Um, and it works good under daylight conditions. And it works, uh, I would say, outstanding, impressive if you can turn the light a little bit down. Then you have really a cinema in your living room. Okay, and it's available in two sizes, 100 inches and 120 inches, but you have to choose one or the other. And can you explain just a little bit the reason for that? Yeah, I, I talked on your first question more about the category in general and not that much about the specific Leica lens. Leica, the Leica lens is dedicated to the highest image quality of the system. And I'm sure, and you've seen it here, that we were able to bring the image quality of a laser TV to the next level by lens tuning, by lens design, and by image tuning. Uh, what I'm seeing is the sharpest and the, the, and the least amount of artifacts in an ultra short throw triple laser RGB projector that I've seen thus far. Exactly, and the, the sharpness, uh, it's, it's not just about the sharpness at one point, it's the sharpness about the whole screen from the center to the edges um, and about the color reproduction of the whole system. The, the triple laser system allows a very broad color space and this allows us to reproduce it in the best possible way uh, so that you can really see your movie as the art director intended to show you the movie. So it maintains accuracy even though it's got that ultra wide colored space that covers uh, the, the Rec 2020 gamut because it's a triple laser RGB. Exactly, exactly. And the reason uh, uh, why you have to choose between 100 and 120 inch, we decided not to go for a focusable lens because uh, we say the most reliable and the most, uh, uh, the best system regarding quality is a fixed lens. 
Uh, so that means we tune it to the best possible uh, uh, sharpness and then we fix it. Uh, and that means that you have over years a constant focus setting in the system. Okay, that's great. And you can really see that here in the demo, I, I must say. It's, it's edge to edge sharp and uh, the chromatic aberration is invisible from normal viewing distances and, and it's just a very impressive image. And, and so, yeah, thank you for, for chatting about the Cine 1, Stephanie. Thank you so much, Mark. Have a great show.